Good morning, multimedia students. It's me, Mr. Cheney, with another brilliant tutorial. This is an add-on to our kinetic typography project. At this point, all of us in class, teacher-led, we got the words done with the animations, and now it's time for us to finish this up with our personal touches. We need to get to do your own background, you're going to add some shapes with your name, and you're going to do something with the Bullard Shield, and all of that is animated. So, all of these on our agenda list, we need a color or a picture background, we need to incorporate the shield with an animation, we need to include a shape with text that says two, we need to include a shape with text that has your name in it. Um, both of those shapes need to be animated, and um, the PowerPoint slide needs to be converted to video and then you upload to your YouTube channel or Google Drive and then you will get the link. So two things that you're turning into the assignment are the PowerPoint slide and the video link. So all of those instructions are here as well. And so let's get into the PowerPoint. I just want to show you a couple things on how you can do the background and the shapes and that sort of thing. You don't have to copy me completely. I'm just showing you one way it could be done. You just need all of those elements. So <clears throat> this is the example that I had on Google Classroom here. So the words go, I changed the background. I've got some shapes. I chose a circle for the word by. I chose a rounded rectangle for my first and last name. And I had the shield. Actually, I split it in two, I think, and then just had it come together. So. Um, in this one, I'm going to get a little more tricky. I'll show you the split bullard shield as well, but um, I'm going to incorporate like a balloon situation. So let's get started. I can I move this out of the way? It's going to let me move this out of the way. Yeah, let's move that over there. Actually, let's just make it heck of small. So, background. There's an easy way of doing the background. So we can go to home and we can go to uh, design. Actually, we just go to design and we can format background that way. So you could do just a solid fill if you wanted. So that's just like one color like this. And now you've got yourself a background that's not just white. Uh, gradient is kind of interesting. That's what I did on this one. So if you wanted to do a gradient, Okay, these little stops right here will give you the different colors. So if I wanted four stops, um, then I could do that. And my first stop color could be white, and then my second stop color could be this blue. And then let's maybe make the third stop color um, maybe an orange. And then the last stop color maybe a green of some sort. And that way you've got yourself a gradient color. And you can move these around if you want. Um, one of the colors to be more prominent like this um, so you just play around with that so that's one cool way of doing like a background you could do a picture or texture fill so you've got some different textures in here that are already preloaded um, you could do a pattern fill so you've got like bricks and so forth and you can change the colors of those as well um, or you can just go get a picture online and make the background like we have in the past so let's say we wanted to do um, you know, like a beach background. And we could take this and we could copy, go back to our PowerPoint, and paste, and we can fill the slide like so. Send it to back by going right click and send to back. And that could be our background like that. So I'm going to go with just the solid fill for now. Yeah, let's go with the gradient fill. Gradient fill. So that's my gradient fill. So that's the background portion. So now we need shapes and we need to animate those shapes. So um, we can insert, and I'm going to go with the circle and the rectangle again, so I'm going to insert a circle like so, and I'm going to type by, and I want that to be a larger font, so I will do that, and so that's 
there. And then I'm going to insert a shape for my first and last name. So I'm going to do the rounded rectangle. Do it like this. Let's, let's adjust some of this. Oh, sneak peek on the blue thing I'm going to do. Okay, so highlighting all those, getting these out of the way. So it's up to the top. I want this to be more like that. And I'm giving myself some room to work with here. Okay. So now, and take this much larger font, as big as the shape will allow, good. And that's pretty good. So in my video, what I had it do was. kind of like do an outline which I can show you next. So we get that out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. Okay. So I want this to enter first so I'm going to go to my animations. My animation paint is already up and I'm gonna have this maybe I don't know boomerang in. I think I'll have this just fly in from the left. And I need to adjust the delays on these, so um, let's put this all the way down here. And so my oval, this had a delay of one second, so if I want my oval to come after that, I'm gonna have to be more than one second delay on so I'm going to change this, like everything else, to width previous. And I'm going to change this to one point, let's say, one five. So it's just after. And then I'm going to change this one with previous. And this one, if I want it to come at the same time, I could do 1.15. But let's make it 0.35 so it comes just after. And then let's see if that works out. So I'm going to click all of my animations out pretty good except my kinetic and my topography weren't working what happened there okay so I found my other animations for my words so if I were to play from the list now I've got all of my words the way they're supposed to look I've got the shapes the circle and the rectangle coming in and that's looking pretty good so far so now I'm going to set up the outline shape in the next tutorial.